Axenfeld nerve loops. You may have seen these on the sclera, and you may have thought, hmm, what are these? Are they normal? Are they abnormal? Well, today, I'm going to tell you that they're completely normal. So Axenfeld nerve loops are normal anatomical variations of the long posterior ciliary nerves, which loop into the sclera before then exiting again. And so you can often see them on the conjunctival or episcleral surface, and they're usually around two to four millimeters-ish posterior to the limbus. And they appear as these gray or slightly pigmented elevated nodules, just as we're looking at here. Look, two to four millimeters, they're right there in a line. And you know, sometimes people mistake, mistake them for foreign bodies, episcleritis, abnormalities, but they're, they're benign. You know, they don't need any treatment. They're normal. They, in my experience, may be seen more commonly in patients who are more East Asian or non-Caucasian, but that's not to say that you might not see them in any patient. The key is to reassure patients that these are actually normal findings. So look, there we go, we've got some concretions. And of course, everyone knows about concretions from our last video from yesterday, which is good. Maybe a bit of blepharitis. Let's put in a bit of fluorescein and see what's going on there. Maybe a bit of dry eye. Uh, let's see if we can put that blue filter on. There we go. We've got a bit of reduced tear film breakup time. That's, that's great. So look, I hope you found this video useful. I hope it's shown you that these findings are normal. So remember, Axenfeld nerve loops. Give your patient some reassurance and don't arrange any follow-up for the patient. Hope you enjoyed this one and hope you guys have a great day.